British film and television actress, James Bond star, Pamela Salem, died on 21 February 2024 at the age of 80. The actress is remembered for playing Miss Moneypenny in Never Say Never Again opposite Sean Connery as James Bond. Pamela, who was born in India, starred in Doctor Who, EastEnders, and other hit TV shows and films. Pamela Salem was married to the actor Michael O'Hagan until his death in 2017. Coronation Street actor, John Savident, died on 21 February 2024 at the age of 86. The British actor was best known for playing the haughty, booming-voiced butcher Fred Elliott in the soap opera Coronation Street from 1994 to 2006. He quickly became a fan favorite. During his early years, John Savident was a police officer before switching professions to acting. Outside Coronation Street, he also appeared in Doctor Who, The Remains of the Day, Yes Minister, and Danger Man. He also was in the first staging of the musical Phantom of the Opera. John Savident was married to theatre director Rona Hopkinson. The couple had two children. Former Strictly Come Dancing star, Robin Windsor, died at the age of 44. During his time on the show, the English professional dancer partnered with celebrities Patsy Kensett, former EastEnders star Anita Dobson, Lisa Riley and Dragon's Den star Deborah Meaden. Windsor danced on the BBC show between 2010 and 2015. His highest placing came with actress Lisa Riley, when the pair finished fifth in 2012. Robin Windsor was found dead in a hotel room in London on 20 February 2024. A cause of death was not revealed. English stage, film and television actor, Dad's Army star, Ian Lavender, died on 2 February 2024 at the age of 77. The actor played Private Pike in the much-loved British sitcom Dad's Army and was the last surviving main cast member of the series. Ian Lavender played Derek Harkinson in EastEnders. He also starred in Yes Minister and appeared on stage. Ian Lavender was a bladder cancer survivor and also survived a heart attack in the summer of 2004. Michael Jaston, only Fools and Horses and Doctor Who actor, died on 5 February 2024 at the age of 88 following a short illness. Jaston played antiques expert James Turner in the Only Fools and Horses episode Time on Our Hands, and portrayed Valeyard in Doctor Who serial The Trial of a Time Lord. The iconic actor also played a main role in the historical film Nicholas and Alexandra. His other acting credits include Emmerdale, EastEnders, Coronation Street and more. Welsh actor and comedian, The Office star, Ewan McIntosh, died on 19 February 2024 at the age of 50. The actor was best known for playing a Scotch egg-loving accountant Keith Bishop in the classic British comedy The Office. Thanks to the character's DJing skills and Ali G impersonation, he became a cult favourite. His other sitcom credits included Little Britain, Miranda, Lead Balloon, and Netflix series Afterlife. Macintosh also had a small role in the film The Lobster, and in The Confusion of Tongues. Prior to his death, Ewan Macintosh had experienced two sustained years of ill health. Longest-serving Grange Hill actor, Stuart Organ, died on 23 February 2024 at the age of 72. The British actor was best known for his 15-year stint on the BBC's Grange Hill. He played fan favourite Peter Robson. His other credits include Doctor Who, Brookside, The Bill, and Casualty. The actor died peacefully at home after a short illness. English TV presenter, Johnny Irwin, died on 2 February 2024 at the age of 50. Irwin presented Channel 4's A Place in the Sun and the BBC's Escape to the Country. In 2020 he was diagnosed with terminal lung cancer, which spread to his brain. He was originally given six months to live. Johnny Irwin is survived by his wife Jessica and the three young sons. BBC radio presenter, Steve Wright, died on 12 February 2024 at the age of 69. The broadcaster worked at BBC Radio 1 and Radio 2 for more than 40 years, 
garnering millions of devoted listeners. It was reported that Wright had undisclosed heart bypass surgery in 2022. His brother, Lawrence, blamed Wright's death on an unhealthy diet and overall lifestyle choices. Yorkshire author, Wendy Mitchell, died on the 22nd of February 2024 at the age of 68 after years documenting dementia battle. She wrote two bestsellers, Somebody I Used to Know and What I Wish People Knew About Dementia. Beloved BBC Radio Orkney presenter, Dave Gray, died after 30 years on air on the 21st of February 2024 at the age of 63 after a short illness. Anthony Epstein, pathologist behind Epstein-Barr virus find, died on the 6th of February 2024 at the age of 102. Epstein discovered the first virus known to cause cancer. British documentary filmmaker and aristocrat, Isabel Thomas, died on the 29th of January 2024 at the age of 39 after fall from Los Angeles hotel balcony. Isabel, wife of Hollywood producer Bradley Thomas, was a former tech advisor to ex-Prime Minister David Cameron. Isabel and Bradley married in 2018 and they had twin daughters Poppy and Grace. Welsh rugby legend, Barry John, nicknamed The King, died peacefully in hospital on 4 February 2024 at the age of 79. John won 25 caps for the Wales national team and 5 for the British Lions.